Boys and Pawns. Good day to all the viewers of Animal X to the Max. This is Michael Hernandez and you are watching Let's See. After all the excitement at the 2005 Southern California Koi Show, let's take a look at the post-koi activities. Gaya rin po sa Japan, masasabi natin itong isang family affair. A true blue koi keeper take their craft seriously. And this could be seen even after the koi show, when they retrieve their koi's with the utmost care. For such a competitive koi show, the atmosphere was light, fun, and that of a family affair. Considering that the 2005 Southern California Koi Show is on its 31st year in the long history of the Southern California Koi Club. The Southern California chapter of the Zen Nippon Airinkai was founded in July 15, 1972. Mr. Chiyoshi Kimura and Mr. Hajime Matsumoto were the founding fathers and they were later joined by koi keepers who had already been in Japanese koi shows. Indeed, the Southern California Koi Club was formed out of the growing desire of American koi hobbies to spread koi appreciation in their homeland. Once again next week, until we find out this year's most beautiful koi in Southern California. For Let's See, here on Animal X to the Max, I am Michael Hernandez. Good day to all the viewers of Animal X to the Max. This is Michael Hernandez, and you are watching Let's See. Now that we've shown you the 2005 Southern California Koi Show. There's no better way to end the season but to give you Frank and Nancy Morales, the couple who gave us the Grand Champion Koi. Frank and Nancy Morales, an adorable couple. They were very gracious when they let me interview them about their passion in koi. Well, we've been in the hobby now for seven years. We, we started in 1998. And uh, we just got hooked. <laughs> we just got crazy. We have seven grand champions, two runner-up grand champions, and several matures, babies, best young, and first and second places, and best in sizes. We got two favors, yeah. Ogara and Maguro. Actually, Shinora. And Shinora, yeah. Very good breeder. My biggest advice is make your pun as big as you can one time. Concentrate on your filtration. It's the most important part. Aesthetics come last. Bloodline is the most important thing. Um, water quality. Water quality, of course, is the most important. If you got very bad water quality, you can have a bad fish. The advice that I would give is was passing on to me through a breeder in Japan. To forget the pattern of the fish, look at the conformation, look at the quality of the fish. And after that, look a pattern. I mean, that's, if you can pick a good fish, you have to have the body, you have to have the conformation, you have to have the bone structure.
and use your you have to use your eyes and think of the not today but you want to look at the future so you're looking at what the fish is going to look like you're trying to imagine it later on my dream is 2010 old japan show that's my it's a dream that i have the I, I will fulfill i think i mean it's a beautiful dream hopefully someday i can say i did it 2010 you can see my name everywhere nishikigoi nishikigoi is, for us is peace and tranquility here at home we in our backyard it's it's very relaxing after you come home from work to just enjoy the peace back here and look at the beautiful fish <laughs> For your suggestions, question. Friends and fellow Koi enthusiasts, it has been a pleasure for me as we journeyed into the international Koi arena. We've seen the most beautiful Koi in the world as we travel to Japan and the U.S. Next season, we'll go back to Japan, the land of the rising sun, as we witness the Wakagoi Koi show. This is the bantamweight version of all Koi shows. Until next week, I am Michael Hernandez for Let's See here on Animal X to the Max saying heaven is when you finally able to decipher the finer Jikigoi. <laughs>